my channel. Today we are talking about my October favorites. There are several items here that I've been loving the month of October. I've tested a ton of new products, like a ton ton. There are some new products in this video and some old products that I'm like rediscovering and completely falling in love with. You know how that is when you go through your collection and you haven't used a product in a minute and you forget just how much you love it. So there's a few of those products in this video. The thing that I wanna talk about before I get into makeup, I wanna talk about hair. I have a few items here that I've been loving lately. So the first one is from Way. This is the volume spray. So I don't have a lot of volume. It takes me a lot to get any kind of volume. So what I've been doing is, like I'll take a brush. This is just a mini brush that I keep down here. But I'll take, when, the, when my hair is wet, I'll take the brush and kind of go up and lift at the root spray this volume spray and then take the blow dryer with like you know a hot and cold hot and cold you know how you can do that that has really helped give me um some volume up here on top this product has been completely amazing and i really really like it and i'm going to continue to use it because it's amazing the other one i want to talk about is from ava nyc this is the surfs up texture spray. I really like this. This is super duper affordable. Actually, the, this one's from them as well. This is the main Magic 10-in-1 primer. These two are so amazing. I bought these, I think, on Amazon, but I think you can pick them up. I don't even know. I bought them on Amazon, but I'm sure like, and they were super affordable. I think they were like 10 to 12 bucks. Super awesome. I like this. This is the Surf's Up Texture Spray, and I like this because I spray this on my hair before I go in with a curling iron and I've been really liking how I get more volume in my curl and I feel like the curl lasts longer with this which is pretty incredible because I've used several different texture sprays and this one has really surprised me. This is awesome because this is just a nice shine but it doesn't weigh your hair down. I don't recommend getting too close like I spray you know probably like this far away but this really gives the hair a nice shine without making it feel oily. So just be careful with this because if you get it too close, it can look oily. But if you get it at the right spot, it is amazing. And I really like the way it makes my hair look. And the oil doesn't like weigh my hair down. I'm living for that 10 in 1 primer spray. Let's get into makeup really quick. I do have a few fashion items that I'm going to talk about in later on. I'm so excited about. Now the few foundations I want to talk about. Of course, you guys probably have seen that I reviewed the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation, and I really, really like this, you guys. This is a nice foundation. This is a foundation that's almost undetectable on the skin, and it just blends out almost to the point where you can't see it, but it's got pretty decent coverage. So this has been amazing, and this is in the shade Golden Medium. So the one I want to talk about is this bad boy. This is the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. I finally got my right shade, and I'm more in love with this foundation than I was when I first tried it with the wrong shade. So when I reviewed this foundation uh, maybe two months ago or something, I didn't have the right shade, but I really liked the foundation. Well, recently Too Faced did a 30% off sale and I picked this one up. This is in the shade Sand and oh my gosh, I'm wearing it right now. I love this foundation. It's medium to full coverage. It kind of has like a natural but almost a radiant dewy finish. Some people say that this is matte on them and for me, like it is not matte at all. It's very radiant. Love this foundation, just FYI, it's really good. The other one is from Makeup Revolution. I am really loving this stick foundation. I, you know what, it's crazy because I do not like the concealer form of this and I love this. This is such a good, Foundation. This is the conceal and defill. Defill. This is the conceal and define full coverage foundation, and I have it in the shade F10. This is amazing. Little bit goes a super duper long way. A little bit. You only need a few dots. Blend it out. Add a little bit at a time because it is crazy full coverage. But this is a nice foundation. The other one I want to talk about is this one that I recently fell in love with again. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I haven't picked this up for a while. And this was um, one of those foundations that I had in a rotation. 
I love this foundation. They don't have a lot of shades, but supposedly this is supposed to be a formula that kind of adapts to your skin color. I don't know if that's true, but I have it in the shade medium. I still have a little bit of a tan left. Okay, just a little bit. And I'm also fake tan, like I'm wearing fake tan. So typically a straight medium foundation is gonna be a little bit too light for me. Right now I'm in like the golden medium era right there. This one actually for being a medium is a little, is like the right shade for me right now, which is kind of weird. So maybe it kind of does adapt to your skin. I, I don't know, but I really like this foundation. It is a luminous glow to the skin. And again, it's almost undetectable, kind of like the Wonder Beauty. It really goes on and gives that luminous finish, but without being makeup-y looking. However, I do not wear this with my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter because it's too much luminous. Like if you put the Charlotte Tilbury underneath this and then you go over top of it, it's just way too much luminosity and it, it's, it's not good for anybody. Okay. Moving right along. So I'm going to talk about this concealer really, really quick because this has quickly become a favorite concealer. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Now I don't like the Power Play foundation, but this concealer is freaking amazing. This is become one of my favorite concealers. And you guys, I love pairing these two together. Like I like putting my Tarte crease list like right up on those creases. And then I like putting this right here on this creeping skin. Now I'm not wearing it right now because I am testing out another concealer. And that's for an upcoming video. I am wearing, I'm not wearing it right now, but it is one of my go-tos when I'm not filming or when I'm not filming, you know, when I'm not testing a concealer. So I just wanted to briefly mention it. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it quite a bit in my videos, but it is a phenomenal concealer and I have it in the shade medium one. Moving on to the face, this is gonna be no surprise, you guys. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about these because if you guys watch my channel on a regular, you know that I've been raving about this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit unlocked palette. I have both the volume four and the unlocked palette. This one is the one I reach for the most. I'm wearing, I'm wearing it today on the face. I love this palette and this has just become something that I use on a daily basis. Like if I'm not filming and I'm not using, you know, a new blush or a new bronzer or whatever and I'm not testing them out, I reach for this. This is something that I absolutely love and this is just, it's just so pretty. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous face palette. I'm obsessed. Okay, the other one I wanna talk about briefly, quickly, quickly, because I don't want this to be a full video about Charlotte Tilbury, okay? But I love this, you guys. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It's so stupid expensive, but it is such a good bronzer and highlighter. I like this bronzer and highlighter, and... Yeah, now if I had to pick between these two, I would grab this one all day. But if you ever want to spoil yourself and you want to splurge, this, this is awesome. I have it in the shade uh, uh, Fair Medium and I love it. I love, love, love this. This bronzer is like the perfect shade of bronzer and it's not too harsh on the skin. It's just, oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done walking away. The highlighter I want to talk about is from Dose of Colors and Desi XKD Collection. They brought back Fuego. I'm so excited. I love me some Fuego and I never used this on camera because it wasn't available. Like nobody could buy it. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. All-time favorite. It has got that gorgeous like gold champagne shade. It is so beautiful. I love it. I wanna talk about a highlighter that you guys see in every video. You guys see it in every video. It's It never fails. It's the m -Rise from ABH. And the only reason why I'm talking about it is because they are bringing it back. So I have to put it in my favorites because this is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. Wanna know why I use this mirror all the time in every video? It's because it fits my hand perfectly. I have small hands and when I'm holding it, it's just that perfect size and the lid doesn't close, it stays open. Oh, except for I hate that pimple right above my eyebrow. Seriously, Tara? It's a great place to have a pimple. This is by far one of my favorite highlighters on the planet. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's got that like smooth texture to it. If you guys did not get a chance to pick this up, 
You guys are gonna wanna pick this up when it comes back in. Everybody loves it for a reason. It is a phenomenal highlighter and so good. Okay, oh, I forgot the sponge. Okay, this is becoming my favorite sponge. This is from Wonder Beauty. Recent, uh, let's see, on Monday, I uploaded a full face of Wonder Beauty. I've been using the sponge since that day. Actually, I used it before I filmed that video, just FYI, I used it. Uh, a day before I filmed that. So I've used this several times and this is becoming a favorite sponge. Now it is similar, like I said, in the Wonder Beauty video, it is very similar to the Morphe sponge, but I actually like this one a little bit more because I feel like it's a little bit better quality, even though it is double the money. I think this one's like seven, six, this one's 12. This is so good. I love this sponge. All right, let's move on to the eyes. Quickly, I wanna talk about this. This is a liquid highlighter from Wonder Beauty. I've already ordered two more shades because I love this. It's so pretty. This is in the shade Champagne. And okay, so when I filmed that video, oh, you guys, look how pretty that is. I used this in the video and this lasted all day long. Like I filmed that video pretty early that day. I would say I got done filming probably around noon time and I didn't wipe my makeup up until like one in the morning that night because I was editing. This liquid eyeshadow literally lasts all day. It is so good. The formula is super creamy. I know it's a little bit on the pricier side, but the quality is phenomenal. So highly recommend this. This is amazing. Okay. All right, moving on, moving on. Okay, okay. I only have a few eyeshadow palettes, just a few. I would say my number one favorite palette that I've been using nonstop this month is the Frankation palette from Dose of Colors with the Desi X Katie collaboration. You guys, I can't stop using this palette. This churro shade, I just keep dipping in it and dipping in it and dipping in it. I love, I love this entire palette. The only, the only shade I don't like is this one. This is uh, Just a Kiss, I think. And it just isn't, it's just not very impactful. And even though it's supposed to be that wet look, I just don't like it. It's not my favorite shade, but I love this palette. It's so pretty, it's so good. So the other one I want to talk about is the Soul Tree palette. I love this palette. As you can see, it is so well loved. I cannot stop using this. I've used it several times on and off camera. I don't typically buy a cool tone palette. And when this came out, I was like, oh, it's pretty, but I'll just buy it to review it. And then I ended up falling madly in love with it. It's so good. It's like one of my favorite cool tone palettes that I have in my entire collection. I don't know that I have a cool tone palette that I love more than this palette. It's so amazing. The other one I wanna talk about is this one from Dominique Cosmetics. Oh, it's so good. This was my favorite when it came out last year and I love this palette. It is so perfect for the fall. If you guys have been wanting to create those beautiful fall looks, these, I mean, look at those shades. They're like perfect. These shimmer shades are like unbelievably beautiful on the eye. They have such gorgeous pigmentation. I mean, look at that. They're so pretty. Those shimmer shades are like so special. Okay, so say that you asked me, hey Tara, which one would you choose? The Frankation or the Latte? The Latte all day because it's more affordable and I think you'll like the shimmer shades in this palette probably more because they're just more wearable and more usable than the one from the Dose of Colors palette. So just FYI, if I had to pick, I would pick this one because it is so good. This is one of my all-time favorite fall palettes. We're gonna quickly talk about this cute little bad boy. This is the Too Faced uh, Tickled Peach palette and I freaking love this cute little palette. It's like $26 and if you love those peachy rose gold brown shades, Mm, it's so good. I talked about this in my Sephora video. I had to bring it up. It makes me happy every time I open it. I love the smell of it. it smells like peaches. It's so good. Okay, moving on. I love this palette. This is probably, this is definitely my favorite mini palette of all time. Just FYI. Okay, moving on. So let's talk about this one. This one is the Wanderous. This is the Wanderous Be Frick, can I speak? This is the Wanderous Beauty Palette. No, it's not. It's the Wanderous, why can't I say that word? Wanderous Fever Palette. I got it. 
I just talked about this palette the other day in the full face of Wander Beauty. And let me just say, there is something special about these shimmer shades. I don't know what it is, but it's very special. These shimmer shades are so stinking creamy. They're not like overly shiny or like bam in your face. I mean, they're not like a Pat McGrath, which I got on my lid right now. <laughs> But this is just one of those palettes that is just an everyday beautiful palette. But the shimmer shades are so flippin' amazing, I'm obsessed. Like I used it yesterday briefly in a small little eyeshadow look on Sunday just kind of hanging around my house. Love this palette. Let's talk about these mascaras quickly. I really love the Wonder Beauty. Like I talked about in the full face of Wonder Beauty, this, I didn't like it when I first pulled it out. I used it for like a couple of times and hated it when I first got it in my BoxyCharm. And then I recently pulled it out and fell madly in love with it. It's kind of unrealistic to be able to have to buy, you know, a mascara and wait two months to use it. But I really liked it once it got a little bit old. But this is a nice mascara and this is a mascara that I use when I'm not gonna wear eyelash, like, eyelashes when I'm not gonna wear eyelashes when I'm not gonna wear fake eyelashes so this is this is a nice mascara but the one I really want to talk about is this one from Chanel and this is the first item I've ever bought from Chanel I don't own any like Chanel products okay but this is their uh so small to read you guys I can't read it one of my subscribers commented on a video and said hey do you have a favorite mascara and I said yeah I'm kind of going through a few but these are my favorite da 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 well another subscriber commented and said this mascara was the best mascara on the market and I was like huh okay boy was she right <laughs> holy smokes you guys this is a good mascara so this is what the wand looks like just so that you guys can see it is the perfect size for somebody especially for me that has like small little lashes let me just say <laughs> there is something very flipping amazing about this mascara one coat on my lower lashes and it's done like one coat bam out the door on my upper lashes this is so good so good you guys it is such i hated that it was one kind of expensive and two like chanel i was like yeah no it's so good it is so good this is so good and I ordered it from Chanel and it came in this like super fancy Chanel box, which I saved. I mean, duh, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'll never buy anything from Chanel, so I gotta save the box. So thank you to that subscriber that mentioned this mascara because it is flipping good. It is so good, like ridiculously good. Let's move on to the lips. First things that I wanna talk about is these from Fenty. I know that they are ridiculously priced. These are the Stunna Lip Paints. I'm wearing Unbutton on my lips right now. I love this formula. It is so dependable. It stays, and I love the color, and I love the formula. The only thing you gotta watch, the only thing you gotta be careful with, is that when you have the applicator, make sure that you wipe off as much as that liquid product that you can, because it will get a little bit all over the place. It's kinda liquidy, so you really have to go down in and you know wipe off the applicator now somebody had mentioned you know what i could have went without the fancy packaging and dropped the price on this and i agree with that statement i think the packaging is very beautiful but i don't really care about the packaging i would rather save the money on it and but the formula itself is really really nice okay moving on to the lipstick formulas from the dose of colors and desi x kitty collection this one is called my main now i, I like the mob story the mob story is not my favorite shade it's a little bit too pinky for me I, it, it looks pretty when you put it down but it's a little bit too pinky but my gosh the formula on these so this is my main it is so beautiful you know what i wonder if that is similar to this one from fenty Ooh, kind of, okay. All right, so this one's the Fenty in the Unbutton, and this one is my main from Dose of Colors. 
but this one is the mob story and this is my main I love this formula it's very hydrating and when you put it on it's a matte but it's kind of a satin matte you can kind of rub your lips together and have it kind of come back to life this is such a good formula I'm obsessed okay I'm just obsessed with it moving on to the lipsticks so this one is in the shade aftermath and hey girl I love these these are so pretty look how pretty those are I love those so this is aftermath and this is hey girl so hey girl is definitely more of like a pinky undertone and this one's more of a brown undertone but oh, these are so good and I really like the formula on them they're really nice a little, a little expensive but they're nice so that's what I have for makeup beauty hair all that jazz but I do have a few clothing items that I'm absolutely loving and I wanted to share them with you guys really quick because they're kind of fun beautiful fall clothes so if you guys have been wanting to buy some new clothes for the fall these are my favorite picks the first thing I want to talk about is this cute cardigan I love this I just got it the other day and I love this this is from Vici collection I will link everything in the description box down below but this is so cute now the price on this is $56 however every day they like they always have a 20% discount code so I recommend going to their Instagram page, which again, I will put that in the description box as well and see what their current um, like 20% discount code is. I think it's fall 20 right now, but you can get 20% off of everything and it's all the time. They just have different codes. I think they change them like every couple of days. So this is one of my favorites. The next one I want to talk about is this pair of jeans. I love these nice distressed jeans. Who doesn't love a pair of distressed jeans? These are one of my favorites. These are also $52, but again, you can get them for 20% off. This I just recently picked up a couple of days ago. Now let me add, this is currently sold out on their website, but if you enter in your email, you will be notified when they come back in stock and they always come back in stock. So definitely if any of the items that I talk about, Vici Collection, like all their stuff sells out quickly, put your email in the notify me box and they'll notify you when it comes back into stock. I love this knit sweater. It is the cutest, prettiest rust color. You will see me wearing it in an upcoming video. It's so cute though. Again, it's $38, but you can get it for the 20% off. Now these, I'm just gonna kind of throw them in here. These are some of the most comfortable tees you will ever wear. These are $26, again, get it for 20% off, but they come in white, cream, this is like a light gray, and a dark gray, and then a black, and of course, I got all five colors because I'm that kind of girl. But I love these, you guys. These are so, so comfortable. Like the material on these are so soft. $26, obviously you can get them for 20% off, but these are some of like the best basic type shirts that if you want to wear this, you know, you want to put like a cardigan over top or a duster over top, these are perfect, especially for the fall, because you never know during the fall, it's hot and cold, hot and cold, and so I always like wearing these like basic like v-neck shirts with some sort of a duster or a cardigan or whatever, so I love these for that reason. I love this one. This one's so pretty. Again, I'm all about that rust shade. I love that rust color. $54, obviously, again, get that for 20% off. All of these are from Vici, except for a few at the end, just FYI. I love Vici collection. I'm addicted. This particular sweater, this one is $62, and I'm actually wearing it right now. This is how cute it is. I love love this cute little sweater it's totally off the shoulder I always just wear like a bralette under them and it is one of my favorite sweaters absolutely love this sweater so again you can get that for 20% off so that's it from Vici there's so many good things on that website you just got to go to it it's my favorite place to shop I shop there all the time okay so this is one of my favorite new sweatshirts this is from American Eagle and it's just kind of got that like distressed holes in it it's like super comfy and cozy but you could totally dress it up and make it cute love this and it's on clearance right now for $22.46 so you might want to go pick it up before it sells out love a distressed moment like who doesn't Speaking of distressed, these little joggers are also on sale from American Eagle. I picked these up when I bought the sweatshirt. Love these joggers. They are super comfortable, super cozy. Love these. Love them. They are so cozy. I got this color. 
and I got this rust color, of course. I mean, because I'm like that rust girl. But again, these are on sale at American Eagle. So if you guys want to get either, you know, the joggers or the distressed sweatshirt, head over there and pick them up before they're gone. And finally, my favorite pair of shoes to wear in the fall are these from Timberland. These are my favorite. I got them last year. They were $160, but I think I got them on sale somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but I love these. These are my favorite pair of like hiker boots, super comfortable, waterproof. If it starts raining, whatever it is, love these. And yeah, they're my favorite. So that is my favorites for October. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I wanted to do a huge shout out to my grandma. She is a breast cancer survivor. October is the month to celebrate all of those who have had the cancer and fought it and beat it and won. Congratulations to all of you guys out there. If you guys have lost a loved one to breast cancer, my prayers are with you. My grandma was such a trooper through chemo. She did such a great job. I helped take care of her after she had her surgery and to watch her go through all the surgeries and the pain and the chemo and all of that. She was so strong and she was just such a huge inspiration to me. And yeah, I, I, she's incredible. So I want to dedicate this video to her. I'm so happy she beat it and I'm so glad she's still with us today. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support you guys show me and my channel. It really means the world to me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so much. Bye!